What's up, y'all? Crazy Al came right here, and it's time to talk about the top 10 bikes that were featured on Bike of the Day in 2021. That's right, y'all. It's been a great year for Bike of the Day features. We had a whole bunch of bikes submitted from all across the globe, actually. We had bikes submitted from Australia, from the UK, from the States. And I featured them here on YouTube and also on sugarcane.com where you can see all the bikes that were featured. But only 10 became the top 10 and it's based off of you guys votes so all the top 10 bikes i'm gonna mention today are the bikes that you guys rated and voted for and we're gonna talk about them right now and we're gonna start with bike number 10 and that bike is a venom killer b sent in by chris peckham that's right this bike is all original straight up crafted and created by Chris Peckham. He did all kind of crazy stuff with different tubing. He got little holes in the frame. He's got the dual top tube, all kind of stuff. A real crazy looking rear dropout. Screws everywhere, the bike looks crazy and it also has high end parts on it. Big shout out to Chris Peckham for sending his bike and keeping things different and keeping things interesting on his Bike of the Day series. Now let's go to the parts list, starting with the frame. The frame is a Venom Killer B 6061 T6, overlapping double butter tubing, one of one frame design by Chris Peckham right here. Supercross Speedline carbon forks, Supercross carbon bars with an 8.5 inch rise, Chris Sex CNC oversized 50 millimeter stem, Chris King headset, BD Snails XSS, 175 millimeter hollow spindle cranks, 45 tooth tangent chain ring, a 13 tooth Odyssey freewheel, race face Atlas pedals, KMC chain, Izod carbon fiber rims, TNT revolver hubs, Shimano BL MT200 hydraulic rear disc, a handmade disc brake adapters. He's got a hand painted all carbon fiber seat made by Selly's Man Selly San Marcant. I guess that's how you say it, I'm not sure. A Jamis carbon fiber seat post, red line seat post clamp, and snafu grips with blue aluminum end caps. The total weight of this bike is 19.75 pounds. Yeah! Coming in at number nine is a brand new Mongoose title team. The new joint, the super, super duper new model. Yeah! The updated disc only Mongoose. Title. It was submitted by Dwayne Taylor of Factory LRC Mongoose. He's also the Mongoose team manager and he dubbed his personal bike the Factory LRC Edition Mongoose team title. This is a triple XL Mongoose title team so this bad boy is super long. It's got the Ride Mist Carbon tubeless tires with the 4K weave, Profile AC2 20mm front hub, Profile AC2 10 millimeter disc brake rear hub, profile racing 20 millimeter aluminum axle bolts. The rear axle bolts are profile racing Volcano Wallers titanium bolts and tension spacer. Profile 15 tooth rear cog with a locking ring and spacer. Round two pro tapered carbon forks with 20 millimeter dropouts. Tangent pivotal seat, tangent pivotal seat post. 31.8 seat clamp, 180 millimeter profile elite cranks, profile 20 millimeter titanium spindle with titanium bolts, profile racing BB86 sealed 20 millimeter bottom bracket. IRC Siren Pro tubeless tires, muck off 40 millimeter orange tire valves, Yoshimoro Chalau large pedals, a 42 tooth profile Sabre spline drive sprocket, Mulville 53 millimeter stem with titanium bolts, tangent flat iron handlebars, ODI Gwyn grips, a Chris King drop set 2 headset, Shimano XTR brake calipers, Shimano XTR brake levers, 140 millimeter Quaxar Silver Iris Ultralight disc brake rotor, and a KMC HL1 narrow half link chain. Yeah! Woo! This bike is loaded with parts. Coming in at number eight is the Huffy HX Pro, the custom out crazy one that was submitted by Daryl Hall. 
He built this bike up for his son Ezra and it came out bananas. Yeah! Puffy came out with some beginner entry level aluminum BMX race bikes that basically have a really good frame design with some real entry level parts. So all you have to do with those bikes was upgrade all the parts and that bike would be just like any racer on the track. And that's exactly what Daryl did for his son Ezra. So let's go over the parts real quick. This bike has the box carbon expert XE forks box carbon bars, the box Cane Creek hybrid built headset, box two piece cranks, box carbon seat and box carbon seat post, bombshell carbon expert rims, carbon ready brake pads, blue titanium spokes, bombshell 275 straight pull hubs, a 42 tooth tangent chain ring, 15 tooth Shimano rear cog, origin eight lightweight chain, snafu lock on ruffian style grips, tangent alloy platform pedals, box chrome number plate, and a custom Rival Ink race decal. The only thing stock on this bike is the V-brake system and the cables. Everything else on this bike is aftermarket high-end craziness. Big, big shout out to Daryl for submitting this bike and letting people know Huffies are in there, they ready to go. All you gotta do is hook them up with some hot parts and you good to go. Yeah! Coming in at number seven, y'all, we got the I Am Cook 243 24 inch cruiser. Yeah! This bike was sent in by owner and founder of I Am Cook, Mr. Tony Cook himself. I saw this bike in person when I went to Howell, New Jersey for a race earlier in the year and I told Tony, I was like, look man, you need to send this bike in so we can talk about it and help promote this bike because I love people who do their own builds, I love independent bike builders and the I Am Cook movement is definitely on the way. He makes 20 inch bikes and also 24 inch bikes and this one right here happens to be the 24 inch Cruiser. This is a 4130 full chromoly BMX frame. Some of the special features on this frame is the I Am Cook fork which has a 20 millimeter dropout, Cane Creek 40 series headset, profile acoustic stem, s &M 29er race bars, He's got the Renthal Kevlar lock-on grips, Shimano XT brake lever, Shimano BH90 brake hose, Shimano XT flat mount brake calipers. He's got the Lymphco carbon rims. He's got DT competition spokes, Onyx 20 millimeter hubs on the front, Chris King SS rear hub on the rear. He's got the Chris King cog. Max's DTH 24 by 175 tires, Turbo Lito inner tubes, Shimano DXR MX71 crankset, Profile chain ring, FSA chain ring bolts, KMC X1 chain, Time Special 8 pedals, a Thompson seat post, and an SDG Bel Air seat. He has a permanent internal hydraulic line for the rear brakes, a 135mm rear spacing for the SS MTB hubs. 73 millimeter bottom bracket width, integrated tapered head tube, and raw to gold fade. So it's a raw to gold fade, not raw to copper. Yeah! Big shout out to Tony Cook for submitting his bike, and I'm looking forward to more I Am Cook bikes being submitted to Bike of the Day in 2022. So send them joints, son. Coming in at number six is this dope 2012 Skyway TA 24 inch in that white colorway, the classic white colorway with the red and the blue going on with it. Yeah! This bike was submitted back in March by Stuart Britton and I love how he balanced the color out on this bike right here. So the parts are 2012 Skyway TA frame and fork, Skyway Cruiser bars, SC Racing Blue Anodized Double Wall Rims, SC Racing High Flange Mohawk Hubs, Profile Racing Spider with a 44 tooth chain ring, Harrow Lineage Fusion Cranks, Harrow Fusion Pedals, Harrow Lineage Stem, Cashimax Arrow Seat, bringing back that classic Cashimax Arrow style, Dino Comp MX2 Brakes, Skyway Tough Lock On Grips, Diacomp MX1500 C clamp, keeping it classic with those Diacomp parts. He even had a laid back seat post on his bike to keep it classic. He had the Sprint laid back seat post, a NNT 16 tooth freewheel, and Schwabel Road Cruiser tires. Yeah! Coming in at number five, we are up to the top five bikes of 2021. And this bike is a Supercross 450Z double XL sent in by Sean Collins, who's out of Australia, all the way from Australia sent this bike in, showed love to sugarcane.com and the bike of the day series. Yeah! Gotta love that blue and gold colorway that he's got going on with this bike. It just came out real dope. Got the chrome accents on the front. It's got the pads on his bike too. 
real fresh blue pedals real 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 fresh on this bike right here so once again it's a supercross 450z frame double xl size supercross chrome plated slt forks supercross chrome plated huge bars speedline 30 30 headset profile racing 53 millimeter black push stem speedline gold brake lever speedline gold brake calipers Profile Slim Jim seat clamp, Supercross polished seat post, Profile Racing Gold P seat, it's a limited edition seat, Profile Column Black 180mm cranks with titanium axle upgrade, Profile Gold Outboard 20mm bottom bracket, Gold 20mm spider, Black 44 tooth profile chain ring. Pedal Innovations Blue Catalyst Pedals, ODI Lock On Rough and Grips, Blue Profile Elite Hub with Titanium Driver and a 16 Tooth Elite Cog, Alien Nation Satin Black Felon Rims, Speedline Chain Tensioners, but the frame also has built in chain tensioners, Tioga Faster Black Label Tires, and a reproduced Supercross Pad Set. This bike right here got some treats on it. Yeah! Oh yeah, coming in at number four. We got the S&M Hucker in the yellow colorway. This one was sent in by David Hoffman. Yeah. So the parts of this bike right here, he's got the S&M Hucker retro frame. He's got Odyssey R32 forks, Odyssey Aiken Senior 2 seat, Primo Churchill headset in the oil slick colorway, Primo Churchill cranks, fit pedals in the oil slick colorway, a Stranger TL stem in the oil slick colorway, Shadow Voltus featherweight bars, Shadow VVS sprocket, Primo Post, Primo Remix 8 Tooth Hubs, Shadow Trust Rims with Rainbow Titanium Spokes, Primo N4FL Front Hub, Diatech Ombre Brake, Shadow Conspiracy Cable, Diacom Tech 73 Lever, SM Hucker Grips, Maxxis DTH Tires, KMC K1 Wide Chain, Odyssey Aiken Wolf Bar Pad, which is actually reversible, and a Rooster Valve Stem Cap. All right, so now we up to the top three bikes. This is the top three bikes, starting with bike number three, and that bike is a Prophecy Scud Evo 3 Expert XL, sent in by Boris Moravic. Yeah! This bike is that crazy David Graff design, Scud Evo 3. Whenever they send these bikes in, I get crazy hype, and that white with that black carbon look looks fresh. Let's run down the parts in this frame. It is a Scud Evo 3. It's a disc brake version of this bike. It's got the white and the UD matte carbon. Graph Edition Expert XL. It's got the Prophecy Scud Evo 3 carbon forks. Four RKs. The wheel set is Pulse WCS Junior Expert. The rims are made of Thorica graphene fiber with pre-preg technology. He's got some straight pull hubs with 288 points of engagement and 20 millimeter front axle, flat carbon steel spokes, and patented self-locking brass nipples. That makes up the wheel set right there. That's a lot going on with that wheel set he has on his bike. Tubalito inner tubes, box helix lab tires, token ninja threadless press fit bottom bracket, 160 millimeter croupy rhythm expert cranks, a 44.2 tooth Renin 5 bolt chain ring, KMC X9 SL chain, bombshell 18 tooth cog, spank Uzi pedals, avian 120mm disc, Shimano Dior MT6000 brake and brake lever, Chromag Hi-Fi V2 31.8 stem, box one alloy handlebars with a 6.5 inch rise, spank soon grom grips, and the box two large seat. Yeah! Number two! We at bike number two, and that bike is the Black Crown Throne 5.0, sent in by my dude, Don the Nature Boy Coble. Don Nature Boy Coble with the fresh, fresh bike that matches the Porsche from 1973. What? Yeah. So let's jump right into the parts. It is a Black Crown Throne 5.0, 22-inch top two. It's got the round two carbon forks. Onyx Pro 20mm Helix front hub, Onyx Pro disc rear hub, Sunring Lay NV rims, Tioga Faster X black label tires, Promax HF2 cranks, HT GT1 pedals, 11 stem, 11 SLT flat handlebars, ODI Soft X long neck grips, Kruppi seat post, a pivotal Tioga D spider seat, a Renan chain ring, Kruppi half link chain, box 3 race caliper end disc, and a Tektro Sabre brake lever. Yeah! 
And this bike has one of the best presentations of the year with the bike being a tribute to the car and also having the car in the images with the bike. That was just bananas. I love it. And now, and now, for the number one bike, bike, the bike of the year, 2021, you guys voted for it, you guys came in and put your ratings in and let people know which bike was your favorite bike, and that bike is, is a uh, 2020 SC Fast Ripper with the Cerakote Camouflage colorway sent in by LA's Rippers, my man, the LA Rippers dude, his name is Joe Ruazu, and this bike is bananas, and congratulations and all that. Yeah. This bike has been sitting in the number one spot spot on the chart for months and months and months and months and months and months one of the very few 29 inch bikes that were featured on bike of the day this year and it has one bike of the year people's choice bike of the year on sugarcane.com big shout out to joe ruazzo and the la rippers keep doing your thing so real quick let's go into the parts list on this bike right here this is a 2020 se racing fast ripper frame and fork with the custom Cerakote camouflage colorway he's got the bullseye rogers pedals bullseye elite race work c clamp bullseye elite top load stem bullseye 4545 race work integrated seal headset sc racing flyer seat sc racing power wing handlebars sc speeds to tires a Knight Bike Co. 5 Bolt Rough Tooth Chain Ring, a Knight Starburst BMX Spider, Profile RHD Race Crank Set, he's got the Paul Brake Lever Love Levers, and the ODI Rogue Lock On Grips. Yeah! This is the number one bike for 2021. You guys rated for it, you guys got it, and this is the one that's the number one bike. Big shout out to LA Rippers, Boyd at Cerakote, R&D Bikes for making a real fresh bike. So that's it. Bike of the year, 2021. The top 10 bikes that were on the charts. You guys rated them. You guys voted for them. And that's what we got right there. Stay tuned for more top 10 lists, top 5 lists. I might even make a top 3 list for all you know. For the 2021 bikes that were featured on Sugarcane.com. Not just Bike of the Day, just on Sugarcane.com in general. And it's also going to be an editor's pick top 10 bikes from Bike of the Day. So, stay tuned for that. It's crazy out, Kane. I'm out. It's a wrap. Stop looking at bikes. Stop talking about bikes. Stop all of that. I need you to hop on your bikes. I don't care how much snow is outside. I don't care how wet it is outside. Just hop on your bikes. Just don't ride the trails while they're muddy, okay? Don't ride the trails while they're muddy. Go out into the skate park. Maybe slide around on the asphalt or something like that. But just don't ride the trails when they're muddy. This is Crazy Al Kane, SugarCane.com, Bike of the Year 2021. And back to you, Billy. Sugar